Once you've finished in the editing workspace and you've previewed your clip, I'm just scrubbing on the timeline, you might then want to export your video to a format that can be used elsewhere. You'll notice I've been working in the edit environment, having used the import environment to bring in my files and set up my project. I'm now going to switch to the export environment. Now the nice thing is you can actually switch back between editing and export very easily. They've simplified the way now you approach your export settings. The name of your file will obviously be based on the name of your sequence and then you can choose where you want to do your export to. I'm going to export to my desktop. I'm going to export to my new export workflow folder and into the rendered output folder. I'm going to click save. That specifies my destination for my output and you'll see that I've changed the information here. You can then choose your format. Generally speaking, if you're going to go export to social media, leave it on H264. I'm also going to specify the output settings for the actual video itself. You'll see down here in the bottom right corner that I've got the source the size of the original video and its frames per second. I've also got at the moment the current output settings. I'm going to change this to, in this case, one of the easiest ones to use, which is match source high bit rate. This basically exports your project like for like. Whatever you put into the project in terms of your video recording, it will export at that same setting. Click Export.